Diana, you like I, I, this. I'm fascinated by like how you got brought in, like as a scientist, like, and then like now you're now, and then you, of course, now you're one of like the original, like core three. Mm -hmm. So t tell us more about that. Well, it really was mostly just that David and I have been really good friends for a long time. And we've always done things like, you know, we'll go for a walk and just chat. And so as David was like, you know, thinking about this concept and fleshing out his ideas for it, we'd be talking about it. And I was invested, you know, like I was totally invested in this idea. I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was just this awesome project. And I, I'm, I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of performing arts. And I've always described myself as an audience member because I'm not an actor. I've never been an actor, but I love going to shows. I love live shows and I love audio drama. Like I, I'd been going to the artsy shows for a long time. And, you know, I had never really thought of myself as being someone who would be one of the creators, but, you know, just as David and I talked about this project and this idea, I was invested and I'm, I'm creative in that I can, come up with like characters and settings and things like that and so as we were fleshing out ideas I was I was creating characters and things and and contributing ideas and honestly the way my character was born was that she was sort of my alter ego in that at the time I wasn't even working in science I at that time was uh fully steeped in a career in the coffee industry. Um, I have since been able to get back into science and now I teach biology at Agnes Scott. I love it. And so I actually am a science professor now, but when we launched the show, I wasn't, I was a coffee shop manager. And so it's, it's almost like my character's path and my path are a little more convergent than they were when the character was created. <laughs> Because she really was sort of like had my life taken a different direction than it had. And my education in marine science had continued on the path that I had originally thought it was going to. Then Dr. Clark is kind of who I thought I was going to be. But at the time of that character creation, that wasn't my life. I was a coffee shop girl. And so it was like I had created this alter ego of mine that had kind of resulted in the character of Dr. Rosalind Clark. Thank you.